everyone. I am Diana Cope, the general chair for the 2021 Imports Business Analytics Conference. This conference has an interesting tradition between the track chairs. Hello, I'm Scott Nessler, general chair of the 2020 Informs Business Analytics Conference and a member of the Informs Meetings Committee. Last year, we were scheduled to be at the Gaylord Rockies Resort and Convention Center, but unfortunately had to cancel the in-person meeting and organize a smaller scale virtual version of the conference. The organizing committee does such an incredible amount of work to pull this conference together. So on the last night, we usually enjoy getting together for a celebratory dinner. One of the traditions that started many years ago was the passing of an actual hat from the current year's chair to the next year's general chair. It became such a fun ritual to add a tchotchke or a little trinket that is symbolic of the location where the conference took place. And last year, since we ended up online, I added a pin with a Zoom logo to the hat. And since we didn't get to have our committee dinner, I'd like to pass the hat on to Diana now. Wow, Scott, thank you so much. This is great. Let me check it out. Wow, this is fancy. Definitely a fancy hat. We have your Zoom button here. We have traces of when we went to Phoenix, uh, Chicago, and the many times we've been in Orlando. Uh, this very hat indeed, a very beautiful hat indeed. I wonder what I'm going to put this year. I'm so excited for you to dive into this conference and really take advantage of all it has to offer. While I know we're all looking forward to the day we can meet face to face again, in many ways, this virtual platform gives you the opportunity to experience so much more than a traditional in-person conference. I know I always have a hard time picking which sessions I want to attend, and now I'll be able to go back and watch all the presentations I wanna see during the 30 days following the conference. First things first, if you haven't already, we encourage you to take the few short steps to complete your profile and set up your networking preferences, which will enhance your interactions with fellow attendees. You can upload your photo or sync your profile photo with LinkedIn and make sure your title and affiliation are added. Next, you'll need to answer a few permission-based questions based on your preferences. Then you'll want to grant the platform access to your microphone and camera. This will come in handy during our networking times. Lastly, you'll create your network within the meeting by answering a few questions regarding your level of expertise and topics that interest you. The platform will work its magic, thanks to the power of AI, to create a network with like-minded attendees. You can rebuild your network at any time, but this is a great way to connect with old friends and make new connections. This matchmaking feature will also recommend sessions that you might be interested in based on your responses. Speaking of sessions, this conference has nearly 100 presentations covering a wide range of cutting edge topics. I encourage you to take some time to read through all the track sessions, poster sessions, technology showcases, and technology tutorials. As I mentioned previously, presentations will be recommended but you can curate the entire conference experience to your interest. You can even watch the competitions live, including the Edelman competition, the Syngenta Crop Challenge in Analytics, and the Innovative Application in Analytics Award. The Smith Prize competition is taking place before the conference, but the sessions will be available in the awards hall and videos on demand. The Wagner and Informs Prize winners will also present during the conference. I am particularly looking forward to our plenary sessions. On Monday, April 12th at 12.30 p.m. Eastern, Dr. Kate Darling will talk about the future of human-robot interaction. Then on Tuesday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern, we will hear from Chris Wiggins of the New York Times and Columbia University about how organizations like the New York Times, are using AI and machine learning to address complex business problems. The conference will culminate on Wednesday afternoon with a presentation by the winning team of the 2021 
Franz Edelman Award competition, the world's most prestigious award for achievement in the practice of advanced analytics and operations research. Whether you're new to the Edelman Award ceremony or if you've been attending it for many years, we really hope that you'll join us on Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern to recognize organizations whose contributions epitomize beneficial impact, long-term multi-project success, innovative methods, and effective academic preparation in applications of analytics, operations research, and the management sciences. The Franz Edelman Award, the Informs Prize, the Daniel H. Wagner Prize, and the UPS George D. Smith Prize will all be awarded during this time. Second, to educational content, the number two reason many people attend conferences is the networking. We put a lot of thought into how we can bring opportunities for meaningful and lasting connections to you in a virtual world. As I mentioned earlier, the platform is leveraging state-of-the-art AI technology to help match attendees with the best possible professional connections. You will be able to see who is in your network and can send them direct messages in the platform or initiate a video call to chat face-to-face, -face, or in this case, screen-to-screen. -screen. We also have three separate networking times lined up within the agenda. So whether you're joining us for a happy hour, get together on Monday at 5.30 p.m., a lunch gathering at 11 a.m. on Tuesday, or a breakfast networking event on Wednesday at 9 a.m., these Birds of a Feather networking groups are a chance to have an informal gathering with fellow attendees about a specific topic area. I really hope you'll take advantage of the chance to connect with fellow attendees who share similar interests. Since attendee engagement is at the forefront of our minds with a virtual conference and everyone loves a bit of a friendly competition, we thought gamification would be an important feature to offer to the conference this year. Attendees will be awarded points for completing actions like uploading photos to social media, submitting questions for the Q&A at the end of a session, and checking into a session and completing the conference survey. Once you complete these actions, you can track your progress on the leaderboard, located under the Game On tab in the conference platform. The top three scorers will receive Amazon gift cards, so make sure to engage fully and have some fun while you're at it. On behalf of everyone at Informs, we truly hope you all enjoy the conference. I look forward to connecting and interacting with you. So please feel free to send me a direct message within the platform. And of course, the incredible Informs staff will be standing by at the Zoom help desk to answer any questions you might have. See you all soon.